Guys, I have been really impressed with most of the QSP stuff I've seen at shows, but we've never had much of it on the channel. But today is a change because QSP sent me a big box. You saw us unbox it. And we're looking at what you saw before you, which is the QSP Legatus. And I am thoroughly impressed with this knife. Let's turn this around and take a look at it from above. Guys, when QSP said they were going to send me some stuff, I was not expecting this. This is the QSP Legatus. And like I said in the intro, this is first day in pockets. This thing is great, but I did absolutely want to mention the packaging it comes with. You not only get this nice hard cardboard case, you, our box, you also get a nice pouch that it comes in. So really, really well done. I'm digging it. Let's get this out of the way and look at the knife. So to be absolutely transparent, I carried this yesterday and I'm filming this early this morning. Um, and I also did resharpen this because I just didn't quite like the edge it was on. It's not that it wasn't sharp. It just did not have the edge I wanted on this. So this is full titanium carbon fiber inlays M390 blade. Now this is a Dutch blade works design collaboration with QSP. There's a lot of really good stuff going on in this knife. There is no jimping. This is ground very, very well. Super, super comfortable in hand. So this M390 blade is ground down really nice and thin behind the edge, comes down on this full flat grind that is beautifully, beautifully done. QSP has not disappointed me with any of the knives I've ever seen. And I just wish we had gotten a bunch of stuff in from them sooner nice swedge on this it gives you a very very cool crisp look it does have a little bit of an upsweep from the pivot so you kind of have this this s to it which typically had put me off in the past but i've noticed that a lot of those knives cut increasingly well and they have a lot of utilitarian purposes because you can get them up like this and use them there is no jimping on the spine of this, which I love. It is beautifully softened right there. There's no hot spot there. There are no sharp edges or hot spots on the handles either. So in hand, this is one of the better feeling knives that I've had come in in a very long time. Pocket clip is just about perfect. But like I was saying, everything has been softened and chamfered very well, very cleanly. In and out of pocket, not a problem. They've knocked that, chamfered that off. So in and out of pocket had, was not a problem at all yesterday. And the pocket clip is just about the right tension for all the pants. I tried, I had it in track pants. I had it in jeans. I had it in uh, 5.11s with the, with the reinforced pocket. This is running on ceramic bearings and has got the ceramic bearing detent right there. You can see rather large detent ball. Um... Lock, lock bar access, typically I like to have a little bit more access to the lock bar, but on this one, even though this is only slightly raised above the other scale, you have really good purchase on that. It is not at all a problem. Sometimes companies try to go too far and they can make that sharp and it's not. You can just put a little bit of pressure on that and kick it over and it's fine. And for as light as it is to disengage the lock, the detent on this is very hard, very good. And I like that. A good hard detent gives you a very snappy action. I think a lot of that has to do with the size of that detent ball. Like I said, that is a rather large detent ball. Now I have not changed the lubricant on this yet. So typically I will do that and it will give you even better action because a lot of times the factory lubricant isn't what I want. Cutting with this has been great. I cut a bunch of cardboard with it. I don't see any real markings on the finish. Any of the lines and stuff you see on that were on it when it came. Um, I did some wood cutting with it and it performed very, very well, especially after I resharpened. You can see I may have to resharpen it again because I did, it appears that I did dink that blade right there. So all in all, so far today, it's been, or yesterday, it's been great. These handles are super comfortable. There's been a few of these knives that have come in recently with this nice swell in here and it makes them great. Like the, the CJRB uh, riff, which gives you a completely different feel in hand. And then it accentuates the spine, the way the spine feels in hand. So you don't necessarily have to have a palm swell as much on the spine when you have that there. And I'm finding that a lot of those knives are really comfortable. Jimping on this, the puppy has been chewing upon all of us, in case you're wondering about those. Um, the, 
the jimping that's on this flipper tab is aggressive, I will admit, but with the way your hand sits on it, it's not a hot spot at all. You don't feel like you're jammed up into that aggressive jimping. But I will say that with this uh, with this hard detent that's on this, you kind of want that jimping. You don't want to slip off of that. It could be uncomfortable. And then, like I said, last thing, pocket clip is just about perfect. It's curved. It, cu it follows the line of the, of the spine. And it sits in pocket, in pocket perfectly. It sits beautifully. And since it's a bushcraft style knife, they would have been remiss not to do this. You can absolutely strike a ferrule rod on this part of the edge. It is a 90 degree hard edge on that. As you can see, that was not chamfered or softened. This was, and so you get the best of both. You have a very sharp edge here that you can strike a ferrule rod with, but you also have that comfort of it being soft there. And with heavy duty cutting, Sometimes you don't want jimping. Sometimes jimping can be painful. So all in all, really impressed with this. The action on this is so, so good. It's just shy of drop shot. I imagine it's going to break in over time. So we'll put this in pocket. We'll carry it for a few days and I will keep you appraised of what's going on. I don't think it's going to take long to get through the review on this one because it's going to spend... Oh, lanyard. Just notice, like I said, it's first day in pocket, so there's a lot of stuff that I might miss. Um, there's no lanyard hole, but you have an option, and I love that. For you guys that love lanyards, don't think I'm busting on lanyards. I just don't like lanyard holes. This is a viable, viable option where you don't necessarily have to ugly up the knife with a big old hole in it. So there you go, guys. Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. This first day in pockets on this has been awesome. Uh, it is absolutely one of the most comfortable knives in hand. I've had it a long time. Um, I like the way they've softened everything. They're not trying to jimp everything to make it more aggressive looking. It's done comfortably. It's done well. And man, does it cut. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we'll get to the full review of this. Um, it's not going to take me very long. I've been using it a lot. Uh, even today, now that I'm filming, even though I carried it all day yesterday, it's, it's going to, it's going to be a quick review process on this one because I, I like it a lot. So we'll see what happens with it. This might wind up becoming part of my personal collection and I'll do the other stuff. We'll see. I'll talk to David and see what he says they want to do with the items they sent me. So. Guys, that's it on this one. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. But please tell me why I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as liking, sharing. So likes are the best thing you can do because it forces YouTube to share that video, whether they like my content or not. So hit the thumbs up. It's the easiest thing you can do. If you want to support the channel financially, I have got sponsors. I guarantee I talked about it in the video. If I didn't, Coffee Brand Coffee and Tempered Trails, they're both down below, along with Doll Strong Knives. Coffee Brand Coffee and Tempered Trails share a coupon code of Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, saves you 5% at checkout. The Coffee Brand Coffee link has it built in when you click on it. You don't even have to type in the coupon code. Uh, another way you can support the channel is I have an Amazon store down below. Anything you purchase on the Amazon store supports the channel. I've built ideas list that you can search through, but you can also just search any items. So if you could just take that link, pin it to your browser and make that your primary Amazon shopping experience, I would appreciate it. And so would the channel. My final way is I have a membership. It's all tier based. Everyone has access to the Golden Server, which is now a community that is worldwide where everyone hangs out and chats. There's always something going on there. The baseline and premium tier members are automatically entered into giveaways that I do that's separate from the YouTube giveaways. I do those on the Gilded Server. And the premium tier guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series that I've built here on YouTube that's behind that paywall. That's it on this one, guys. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.